nucleate boiling. Here we use a soldering iron to instigate nucleate boiling within a sheet of water. These sheets have to be a little bit thicker. They're about four millimeters thick. And when the tip of the soldering iron is submerged into the sheet, it immediately drives rather violent convection, as you can see here. Bubbles will form on the tip of the soldering iron, and they will be whisked away by this convection and leave a free surface for more water to be in contact with the tip and make more bubbles. Here is the soldering iron submerged up into the barrel, which is about 15 millimeters in diameter, and this was to provide simpler geometry than the, the conical tip. And here you can see bubbles forming on the surface of the barrel. They expand, they move away, they are whisked from the surface, and new water moves into its place and is heated and forms more bubbles again. To first order, this doesn't look that much different than watching water boil on a pot sitting on your stove down on Earth. Here we're moving to more of a spherical geometry where the barrel of the soldering iron is wet with a spheroid of water and we can watch over time as uh, boiling is uh, developed. And again, the bubbles move from the surface in the absence of gravity-driven buoyancy and gravity-driven convection due to other means and they move around, expose the surface to new water and you have boiling that does not look that much different than boiling in a pot on your stove. 